Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Blast Off for episode 5. And look at this. We have a brand new base. What is this about, Isaac? Did you spend all this time between this episode and last building a whole new base and making it completely empty? No, I didn't. So it turns out that this pack is updating, like, super fast, faster than I can even make videos on this pack, uh, to the point where last episode we were on version 0.6 of the pack, and now we are on version 1.3. So a bunch of stuff has changed, including a brand new map with a brand new set of quests, which we'll get into in a second. So what my plan is, is I'm going to start again. We're completely starting from fresh. You can see I only have a quest book, nothing else, but I'm going to try and speed through sort of the first section of the map and try and cover everything that we did in the first four episodes in this episode so that we don't waste like another four episodes doing the same stuff all over again so my plan is to do all that in this episode but kind of show you some of the new stuff along the way so to start with uh, new stuff we have the quest book the quest book has a new little interface it's all shiny and metal -y. and the getting started quest line is kind of revamped you can see we now start with getting armed which is exactly the same we're going to grab you and you and we can hand that in manually submit uh, unfortunately that does mean we lose them i'm not quite sure if that was supposed to happen but oh yeah it is look we get them back and what we get back is some water bottles uh, a spatial storage a little uh, what they've renamed to a sapling storage a uh, spatial storage self applied energistics and our electric bow and our paper sword back and then we get a choice of either uh, an energy cell or an energy cell now i think this one's full maybe I could be wrong. Again, new update means sound is off. We're going to turn music off. We're going to turn master volume up. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. Was that a full one? It was. We got a full one. Nice. Uh, so he struck straight away. <laughs> right off the bat. Wow. <laughs> that is just brilliant. But on the bright side, what we can do... Oh my god, those mobs. Jeez. Okay, let's <laughs> let's turn the hostile creatures down. Uh, I think it might be night outside. Um... Let's go ahead and throw our spatial storage into one of our new machines. So we now have a, a an energy cell down there, which we could replace with this one if we run out of stuff. We have a power transfer, I believe it's called, or something like that. An energy acceptor, which is powering the uh, which takes the, the power from the sterling generator and uses it to power the energy cell, which we can then use to power this guy over here, the spatial IO pot. And what we can do now is this. We can throw that in, click the button, and we get a little tree farm. Which is kind of nice. It means that we no longer have to go out into the day and, and fight all those bad guys in order to get our stuff. So we'll move on to that in a second. We get a new chest plate. This time around, it is from Falling Meteors mod. It has Magnetization 4, Thorns 3, Protection 4, Last Stand 2, or Breaking 3, and a durability of 576. It's a pretty badass thing. I think Magnetization means that, yeah, it'll kind of throw things to us. There we go. If we drop something, we'll just pick it back up, uh, which makes getting logs and stuff a lot easier as well. Uh, let's have a look. Jeez, that noise. We got a nice little empty floor, nothing much on here. And if we go up, I like the way they've redesigned this. So now, instead of having to do this, the jump pad thing in order to get out, we just have to... Oh, is there a tornado? Oh my god, there's a... Oh my... What? <laughs> what? There's a hurricane going on right outside. That is horrible. Hopefully that doesn't damage me. But on the bright side, we no longer have to walk. Oh my gosh. We no longer have to walk like and jump through the jump pads to get out. So we can just kind of walk through, which is uh, which is pretty nice. And I think there might be something below us. No, there isn't. Okay, okay. But so uh, let's have a look. So we got ourselves a watering can. It doesn't look like we're giving it any burn meal. There's some water here. I'm not quite sure how hot this water is. It's mineral water from more planets. Sure. Oh, we get speed to and regeneration. Nice. So can we do this? Is this a thing? We can grow flowers. Oh my god, that is fantastic. That means that we can grow flowers. We shouldn't go insane quite as fast. We've got a heat stroke. What the? Ah, uh, jeez. You know. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see. Can we actually grow a sapling inside is the question that everyone is asking. I don't think we can, unfortunately. I don't think there's enough space out here. Uh, I know another thing that has been updated in the uh, in the recent update uh, is the fact that the min all the spikes, all the towers around us are all close by. Uh, let's have a look in the quest book. Is there something that we can be getting on with while we wait? Uh, no, not really. The first quest is getting wood. Do we have anything in our chest? I'm assuming food. Yeah, look at this. We've got arrows. we got our usual stuff of food. We don't have the canisters, which is not the best. I would have. I did like having the canisters about, just as like an extra food source. But we can live. We can live. Uh, I think I spent a bit too much time before the episode sort of not doing anything. There's something white over there. I'm not quite sure what that is. And uh, you can also see that there are no towers nearby as well. 
Also, no, they're not made of cobblestone. So that is a thing. It's going to be a bit harder to get cobblestone now. However, I do think I know a way that we can actually go ahead and get it. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wait until day comes. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this dirt, take it outside, grow a tree up a couple of times, complete the first couple of quests. This one we've done. Grout we haven't done. I'll probably do this one, the zombie quest, maybe a few others. We might try to get the hang glider and stuff. But what I'll try and do is I'll try and get back to where we were at the end of last episode. Oh, as close as I can and I'll be back in a second okay so a little while later and I put down a bunch of trees I've got a bunch of wood and we finally have enough saplings to go ahead and complete the sanity quest it's exact same as before we got ourselves some new flowers but there's a funky new little uh, little sound effect when we complete a quest listen to this uh, we'll take we'll take mm, we'll take sugar seeds boop -boop I like it. I like it. Okay, so what do we have to do next? So we've completed these three. We're kind of on this little chain here. Uh, we can't do the drawers yet because we need iron. We can't do the adventuring because we need uh, some leather. However, someone in the last episode did point out that we were f over complicating something extraordinary last episode because all we need to do to mine iron is get this candy pickaxe. The candy pickaxe can mine iron. And then once we got that, we can make an iron pick. And then we can do what we want. So <laughs> we were kind of going the really complex way about it by doing the bone pick first. However, I think this is probably a good idea. We're going to do that right now because we don't quite yet uh, have enough stuff to, um, to to make the glider. We're going to need some leather first, which means we have to kill some zombies. But that will tie in quite nicely to the uh, kill five zombies quest, which is on our to-do list. Now, unfortunately, we are getting pretty low on water. And I have... Oh, no, we got a bunch more. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize we got some more as a quest reward. I drank a lot of the initial water. We do have some more. But, uh, yeah, that, it's still a concern. It's still a concern. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw down our crafting station again, as per usual. I'm getting string thrown in my face. Just, just give it to me or don't give it to me. You know? Uh, it did this before. Let me take this off. There we go. Are we, are we good? Thank you. Jeez. Oh, no, we're not good. Okay, it's coming off. I'm not wearing it. I'll wear it when we go outside, uh, and that's it. We lost the heat stroke, though, which is good as well. So uh, let's go ahead, and I'll throw it down over here. Over here looks good. Right, so we need a couple of the blank patterns, which we can do like this. We need four of them to be precise. So we should be able to do something like this. We'll take two sets of you. We'll do that. We'll do that. Now I realize we get four at a time, but that's fine, because we are going to need more blank patterns in order to do some other stuff. And then we should be able to do something like this. That gets us the part builder. This one gets us the stencil table. And then this one. Like that. I always get them wrong around. Get to the tool station. Nice. So let's go ahead and throw those down somewhere like this. And we've gained another ailment, which is always terrific. Heat stroke. I think what happened is I think there's a lava source like right underneath us. Because in the previous version of the pack, a lot of people were getting um, hypothermia really, really quick. So I think that could be a thing. Also, we are low on water, so I'll drink to this as well. Uh, yeah, I think there's some lava like quite nearby, like underneath our feet maybe, which uh, is also causing this thing. Okay, so what do we have to hand in in order to get the next section of this quest? Uh, detection test. We need, again, a bone pickaxe head, a bone tool rod, and a bone binding. So I'm going to do that, guys. I'll be back in a second. Okay, and oh, let me just check before we do that, because we don't have to hand them in. We don't have to hand them in. Uh, so we can go ahead and make that into a pickaxe so we can save some inventory space more than anything. Uh, boom, boom, and boom. Gets us a, a mining level of stone still. But we can grab that thing. Uh, we should probably go ahead and make some form of... Ch Actually, no, we've got the sky chest. So we don't need to make a chest. Uh, let's get rid of some of the stuff. we got a crucible. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Okay, so we started with the crucible this time. Or oh, we got one in a really early quest reward, which I think is a brilliant move on the map creator. So we can get one now from getting wood, which is pretty nice. Also, by the way, I chose the turbo axe instead of the stabby stabber this time around because I think it uh, it was much more beneficial than, uh, than, than the stabby stabber. Uh, so we got that. Uh, is it almost nighttime? It is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump pretty much everything into this chest, apart from my sword over here. My uh, This tool has incorrect data. Okay, so I just have to cra craft it. Nope. Place this in a crafting window to update it. I just did. There we go. Hey. So we've got this thing again. It's got 11 damage. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. I don't think its durability is all that great. Um, Where's its durability? Da -da 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 -da. It's reinforced, though, so it might be. Uh, uh, effective durability, 10. I'm not quite sure if that's any good, but we'll, tr we'll find out, I guess. All right, here we go. We've got, we've got all the ailments, which is not good. And I can see zombies on the map, but I can't actually see any. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a guy. Hopefully, 
there were less baddies this time around. And uh, by baddies, I basically just mean like super bad baddies, like the ones that can throw you in the air and eat your face. Come on, where are the where are all the zombies at? And what's this ice tower? I need to know. These are all things I need to know the answer to. We have there are no zombies around, like at all. Hello, hello. Let's have a look in here. I don't know how we've still got heat stroke. We're like out in the cold. We should have hypothermia by now. What's in here? Look, here we go. Hypothermia. All right, I think this is kind of to replace the ice level we had before. This might be giving us the... Um, this is probably going to give us hypothermia if we keep going down. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's one of these dungeons. Oh. That's cool. So it's one of these dungeons, but it's down in the mines as opposed to being... Uh, as opposed. Oh, that's cool. So it's a dungeon like normal, like you would find in vanilla Minecraft, but... Ah, I like that. I like that. But it's like all made of ice and it's just they're just dotted all around. That's kind of cool. So we can find some stuff. Hopefully we can get some dungeon loot out of there as well, which would be kind of nice. So we might, we might pop back down there a little bit later. For now, we need to kill five zombies and then we should be good to go. So let's see if we can kill five of these guys. Hopefully, like I said, no super bad guys. Oh, oh no falling to your death. Oh my gosh. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh my God. Okay, quest done, I think. In, in all fairness. Oh my gosh. Of course, now they all come out to play. Run! Run! Get back inside. Now we do need... How do we still have heat stroke? How? How is this possible? Now, on the... we should probably get ourselves some zombie brains before we go anywhere. And our pick out... I think it's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, effective durability. Absolutely terrible. It's what it is. Oh my gosh. Let's get back inside. Yeah. There we go. That's why Stabby Stabber is not a bad idea to get early on. Um, like I said, I think I think the Turbo Axe was probably better, but Stabby Stabber, definitely not too bad. So is that it? Do we, do we complete it? We did. Nice. So we now get either uh, Pimp Cane or Holy Meat. I think we're going to go with Pink Pimp Cane. Oh, no, we get both of these. So we get to choose either uh, Mana Steel Shears or Normal Shears. I'm going to go with Normal Shears. Ba -ba -dum. Unbreaking 3. Nice. We also have these guys with Knockback 2 and Fire Aspect 2. So can we kill the mobs with these? Can we, like... Go on outside and just, like, whack them in the face with this stuff and see what happens. Maybe? We can. It's damage. It's not great. But it's not back. is insane. Oh, my gosh. It's all about the smite. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Look at this. We're kicking some zombie ass with the flipping... Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. We can fight the zombie apocalypse. And if we get too overcrowded, we can hit them back with the sticky sticks. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is fantastic. Okay, well, we've got more than enough brains now. We can go and start to smell up some, uh, smell up some zombie brains and get our leather. We might even get the hang glider this episode. Wow. This would be, that would be very nice. Okay, so let's head on down. Oh, we do have a furnace. Okay. 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 But we do have 10, we do have 13 zombie brains. Jeez. Okay, what is the next quest on our list here? We have hydration as usual, which is to get um, a cauldron. We have the um, crucible tech which wants us to get some grout. So I think we can now maybe smelt the grout in the crucible, uh, which I think is what we were going to do at the end of last episode. Meteors are now a thing. Meteors can come down and hit our base, I think, which is not good. Uh, in order to start this quest line, yeah, like we can get a meteor shield by completing that. We should probably get that pretty soon. Whoosh, boom, wah, a meteor just landed nearby. Yeah, so meteors are going to drop. We can get some cool stuff from meteors, but we should definitely get a, a shield nearby. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Is it the water? It could be the dehydration. Also, the food. I don't know how we drank. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we didn't drink both of those. Let's do that. Let's eat. Are we going insane? Yeah, our sanity is not good at all. Jeez. All right, we got flowers though. Let's 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 throw down some of these flowers over by the um the saplings over here. This should give us uh, a bit more sanity. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Oh, let's 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 take a sanity bath. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. The fact that we can just come downstairs uh, after fighting a bunch of zombies with our Smite 5 flipping zombie brains and our pimp cane that we can use to knock them back. That is fantastic. And we can just heal up in the water. Uh, we've still got weakness and nausea and everything else, but it is going away. Hopefully, it will go away. Yeah, it did. Still insane. Still got heat stroke. Still not great, but a tiny bit better. 
a tiny bit better. Okay. Uh, ooh, a turbo axe. So this, they've changed this to obsidian. Someone in the comment section did recommend that I make obsidian. Uh, actually, I think it was on a live stream that I make obsidian. And they had a good point because we did have a crucible, which meant lava could be made re really easily. And to make obsidian, all you have to do is put lava into a stone barrel, pour water over it, and you get obsidian. And you don't have to mine it. You can just pick it straight out of the barrel, which is really nice. So... What I think we should do now is focus on getting some cobblestone. Now, let me have a look if there is a recipe for cobblestone. Because I think there is. I think what we can do is something like this. I think we're supposed to get a hammer from Ex Nihilo. And I think we're supposed to break some of the, the clay. Like, like as if it was uh, uh, not clay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do this and this. I do remember reading something like this on the forums. We'll take that. And we'll go on and head back up. Is it is it daytime? Not quite. Not quite. And our sanity is not great. We probably shouldn't be going to see more mobs just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and wait till daytime again, guys. And I'll go figure out how we can get cobblestone. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, yeah. So what we have to do is we have to climb up these pillars. So you can see I'm quite high up right now. You have to find some of this stuff here, this hardened gravel. Break it with a hammer. And that will give you some of these things here. There's some of these little stones. And what we can do is if we get enough of those little stones, we can craft them like so and get cobblestone. So although I am highly insane, highly having heat stroke, and I keep getting nausea, I'm going to break a bunch of these guys and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back at base now. We're still really insane to the point where we've got 0%. Sanity down in the bottom of my end corner there. I've been stood at these flowers for a little while. I've even planted and harvested a couple of trees up top, but nothing seems to be working. I'm still insane, so I'm just going to move on and, and try and do some other stuff. So I got enough cobblestone to make a, a slab furnace, like so. Slab furnaces. Oh, I didn't get enough to make a slab furnace. Ah, I did, but ah. Okay, I got, I got enough to make a slab furnace, like so, which means we can get the glider. So let's do this. I was hoping that we'll be able to make a slab furnace and get ourselves enough cobblestone to uh, get some lava out of the crucible. So I have a question, and my question is, does the slab furnace power the crucible? Question number one. Let's see. So I put that there. If I put some zombie brains in there with some of that, does that give it a speed? It doesn't, which means I think we just wasted some cobblestone because we need more cobblestone to order in order to melt this thing. Okay, test number two. Do torches work yet? They probably won't. I doubt that's been changed. Let's see. We'll take... Oh, there we go. This, this insanity is not fun. We'll try that. No, that doesn't work either. Okay, so I think we're going to have to go and, and get another fully fledged, get like enough cobblestone to make a fully fledged furnace uh, in a second, but that's fine. We'll throw you back down on top of here for now. Uh, we should be able to fly over there pretty quickly if we can get the glider going, which will be quite nice. And also be able to get uh, back pretty quick as well. So I'll put you down like that. How much do we need to get the glider? We need two wings and a stick. The wings are each six leather and two sticks. So we just need 12 leather, which shouldn't be too bad. We, uh, yeah, we're on track to get that. That should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, it's getting dark outside, so we might have to wait till morning again. Is there anything else we could do whilst we're highly nauseated and dying? Uh, the good news is hydration. I used my shears to get uh, a bunch of leaves. Not all of it, obviously. But I got a bunch of leaves from the, uh, the trees that I grew outside, which means that we can go ahead and throw those into the crucible when we actually start to be able to use the crucible, and that will get us water as well. Well, which is pretty cool. I can use those empty bottles to start filling them up, getting some more water, which is all good stuff. And it also gets us water storage, which sounds like a, a pretty fun place to be. So we'll try and do that. Um, and once we get once we get our adventuring, once we get our candy pickaxe, we can start mining some iron, which means we can progress with drawers. We can get the cauldron. We can do all this kind of stuff. We can get the stone hammer if we get some more cobblestone. We can actually start to progress and do things in this pack, guys. I feel like the first four episodes, we spent so long trying to do all of these little quests, and we're just running through them so fast this time around it's insane but uh, we'll take you two more of those and we should be good to go let's get a head start and do something like this to get our first glider and then we're almost there on our second one and we might actually be able to start doing some of these other quests soon as well uh doing these other quests will be uh be pretty cool Pressurize pressurization that could be a fun one to start with um I also quite want to, I want to find out what Flaxbeard's power system is about, the steam-powered stuff. That kind of, that seems kind of cool. I've never played with Batania either, so I'm interested to see where Batania goes also. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of them that I want to really test out. Okay, let's take you. Let's do something like this. Boom. Let's throw down some sticks. And then do this. Which, I, was it like this? Oh, no, it was this, wasn't it? Ta-da! Glider. Nice. And then we can play my reward for this. 
which also gives the bed beautiful. So now we can go ahead and actually sleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep. I'm going to try desperately to lose this insanity, which doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. We are again out of water, but it's okay. We have water. Oh, drink it. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Ah, ah. And somehow also poison. See the apples. Jeez. Yeah, so I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, once daytime comes, we'll go. We'll get some more cobblestone. That should get us enough to uh, actually start powering this thing. And, and then we can get a lava sauce. And then once we've got a lava sauce, we can have unlimited water, which will be flipping fantastic. We might also try get some iron going now that we've got the candy pickaxe and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that, guys. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we've just flown back down from that little pillar over there. And unfortunately, as you can see by our little death point here, we did die. But uh, on the bright side, our sanity is now back up to 100%. And so are our water levels. And we have a bunch of stones. So what we should be able to do now is something like this and this to get a fully fledged furnace. I'm hoping, like desperately hoping, that this one does work. If it doesn't, I'm going to be kind of annoyed now, actually, because I made two furnaces for nothing. Here we go. Let's try this. Uh, let's throw in some wood and some brains. Does it work? It does. Nice. Okay. And then we can do this. And I'm going to take, I'm not going to take all of them. I'm just going to take enough th th as many as we need. I don't think you can use stones for anything else, but you might be able to. So I'm not going to risk it. And we can do this. One, two, three, and four. And now, eventually, that should turn in to a fully fledged bucket of lava. Nice. We also have ourselves four smashed iron ore from Flaxbeard's smashed iron ore mod, which allows us to make a normal iron ore, which we can then use to do other stuff. Nice. So we can do this, which is kind of cool. Uh, wait, what? Does it have to be in the crafting table? would be kind of odd if it does, but it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, that gets us two iron ore. Uh, we could just pulverize this, but we don't have a pulverizer or anything that has the ability to pulverize. So, I think instead, we're going to throw down you. We're going to have to put some more stuff in here to smelt, because otherwise, we're not going to be able to do stuff. Um, What can I smelt? I, iron? Sure. Can we smell iron normally? Like, is that, can, is that doable? No? Yeah, I thought that was me being a bit hopeful. Okay, uh, what we could do, I guess, is we could head over to our little snow cave dungeon thing that's just out here. Uh, hopefully, we can get back before nightfall because I really don't want to go insane again. That was absolutely horrible, what we just had uh, a second ago. We should be able to, however, get some ice. It's packed ice. What? What? No. Ah, okay. Um. Oh, no. Ah, we could have... Mm, um... Hmm. The only thing I can think of now then is to is is to do the same again to 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 get. Oh, we could make charcoal, I guess. Sure, let's make some charcoal. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's a bit of a waste of wood. We don't really need the charcoal just yet, but I guess we could use it. We could sort of recycle it and throw it back into here, save on some of these planks, possibly. Um, do something like this. There we go. Yeah, I guess that works. All right. Is there anything else in the quest book that we haven't quite done? Because to be honest, we are pretty close to being back to where we were before, if not a bit ahead, because we've got the adventuring quest complete. We've got our candy pickaxe, which actually has quite a high durability of 248, which means we can mine quite a lot of stuff for quite a while, which is kind of cool. We're almost back to the lava, which is nice. Once this is done, we can go ahead and set up, I think, a cobblestone generator, which we might set up maybe... Mm, I don't know where we'd set that up. We'd have to set it up in here somewhere, I guess. Maybe over here? Or just in front of this, possibly? Or... Over here, but anyway, we'll set up a cobblestone generator and we'll throw the la the crucible over the lava of the cobblestone generator. That'll mean that we don't have to use the silly hammer to get co to get stone anymore, and it also means that we can heat anything we want in the crucible, including leaves, which we've got a bunch of now, and we can get even more of by planting trees. We can then use those leaves to turn it into water in the crucible, which will be powered by the lava. We can then right click with our uh, empty bottles to get water back, which means that we now have a good supply of water coming in, a good supply of cobblestone, a good way to get lava if we ever need it, and we can finally start to move on to get some of the cool modded stuff done and we've like beat the early game i think i think we have got over the hump in the early game as soon as we get this lava we are we're, we're sailing a bit easy from from now on not not completely easy bear in mind there are some uh, some surprises coming for us further on down the line for sure but i think some of the the hardships that we had in the first four episodes are kind of surpassed and we've kind of gotten ourselves a, a better a better footing this time around which is which is kind of nice so we are gonna need some clay in order for this to work which doesn't mean we need a barrel and some water now 
I don't have any idea where we're going to get water from. I'm not going to lie. Uh, hmm, let me have a look. Let me see. Is there anything beneath us? If I do find lava nearby, which I think I can't, I think there is. And if I do, I'm going to be upset because that means that we've just sort of like spent all this time making that lava for not very much at all. Um, I can't see any. We've got some lavatory blocks, which I don't really think are doing much at all. We've got factory blocks. We've got a bunch of stuff, but I don't know where we're going to get water from if we can't use... Well, I guess. Actually, no, yeah, I guess what we could do is we could go ahead. I think... Oh, oh we've done this the wrong way around. Ah, oh, because I think what we're going to have to do... Fortunately, we have enough stones to make... Oh, not even four more. Ah, because I think what we're going to have to do is I think we have to not use the crucible for lava. I think we're supposed to use it for water. Get some water. Use that, like, grab it in this bottle. Make a barrel. Put that water into the barrel. Put some dust into there, which we can get by hammering down this gravel. Once we've got the dust, we can turn it into clay using the the, the water and the, 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 the dust. And then once we've got the clay, we can make a lava bucket, which then can move the lava... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we were so close. We were so close to being good this time around. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. What I'll do is I'll sleep. Because sleeping's good. And what we'll do is we'll come back. <laughs> what I'll do is I cut away. I'll do that. I'll go. I'll probably have to break this flipping crucible and lose all this lava. We'll go get some more cobblestone. We'll do what I just said with the water, the, the dust, the gravel, the hammers, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. If you haven't seen the first four episodes, I do recommend you go watch those first. Because otherwise you'll probably have no idea what I'm on about. But uh, go check those out. I'm going to go do that, guys. And I'll be back again in a second. <laughs> Oh. oh! 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 What? What? Really? Really? Oh! Wow! Okay! Wow! That is mean. Well, so okay, okay. Um, I'll make sure to show the last few seconds of that because we have just I dug down, and we are in a new room. We are in we're in one of the dungeons. One of the dungeons is directly beneath us. So, oh my gosh! Okay, okay. That's that's new. All right. Well, the good news is that I'm pretty much there. I was digging some space for the cobblestone generator that I'm about to put down. Uh, but the good news is we're almost there on the uh, the the little uh, the redo of our stuff here. So uh, at the minute we have some some leaves cooking up into water over here. You see there we have 200 millibuckets of fluid water. We can add some more leaves in. Uh, unfortunately, you can only put in 200 millibuckets at a time, which is a little odd and a little annoying because it means that we have to keep cooking stuff up. But um, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and we don't need to eat just yet. Our water. Is okay. Our, hand, our sanity. Is, our water's not okay, actually. No, that's a lie. Our sanity's fine. Our water is absolutely horrible. Um, let's grab all these water bottles. Um, oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that there. All right. Hopefully, like I said, we should be able to grab uh, one of those. Let's make a barrel whilst we wait. So we're going to do something like this. And then I believe it's just like this. Yeah. Now get to the barrel. And whilst we're waiting for that as well, let's go ahead and add some more leaves. And let's break down some of this sand into dust using our hammer. Like this. This should get us sand. And then do it again. And we should get ourselves some dust. We could have also just gone downstairs and broke some sand into dust and down there. But hey, what are you going to do? Okay, and another thing we can do actually now that we've got ourselves um, some cobblestone is actually not use that because I don't want to do that. We could have made the stone hammer and completed one of the quests. But no, I'm not going to do that because that is a terrible idea. I'm not quite sure why we're hungry, but I'll eat some food, which should be pull us up. I think it might be the heat stroke. Maybe we've got heat stroke level two, which is not good. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what's causing it. There's no lava around us. I can't find any. I don't know what's causing this. We've got factory blocks. We've still got these glowstone uh, glass things, which are pr providing all the light for the room. We could get rid of the torch, I guess. F7, let's just make sure. Oh, mobs can spawn in now, which is not good. Oh, jeez. If we come back and there's mobs in here, I'm going to be kind of annoyed, actually. Um, all right. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to continue to add a leaf to this crucible until we get our buckets worth of water. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're coming up pretty close now on the 1,000. What I've been doing up till now is after smelting over 30 flipping logs of wood, uh, I realized that we can just kind of keep taking it out and putting it back in. It does burn through the charcoal, but when we have 30, it seems to be okay. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep doing that because I think we are going to actually need another bucket of water in a second. So let's go ahead and... Can we add more? We can. All right, let's go ahead and grab one of our glass bottles, which I think are all in here now. They are. Let's see if we can grab out of here. Can we do it? We can. Nice. So we can take that. 
we can throw this into here. We can get ourselves some clay. Brilliant. And then we can turn this into a clay bucket really easily like this. Boom, boom, boom. We can then go ahead and smelt this up in... It doesn't really matter what... We'll smelt it in here just for easiness sake. We can put the rest of the clay in there as well as the bottles. And what we'll do now is we'll put down the tool forge because why not? And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to sit here for about 45 hours until we have another another piece of water. We'll then take that one out using the bucket, put it down over here. That shouldn't break the bucket. And then what we'll do is we'll put the four pieces of cobblestone back in here, keep cooking, keep cooking stuff up until we get the lava back. And then what we'll do is we'll throw that down. And we will have a fully fledged cobblestone generator, and it will be perfect. So I'm going to do that, guys, and I'll be back again in a second. Okay, so about a bazillion hours later, we are finally almost at the end of the lava cycle. We have our water over here ready and raring to go. And in a second, we should have enough cobblestone to turn into lava to do this. Go ahead and throw it down right about here. And that should make a cobblestone generator. Nice. So now what we can do is we can get rid of, we can move you. We don't have to rely on the furnace anymore. We don't have to sit here and fiddle around with that, making sure that we constantly have stuff to cook. We can do this instead. Boom. Now we're running at a, a bit of a slower speed, but at least, oh no, a bit of a faster speed, melting speed two times. Uh, and But, oh, yeah, so it runs faster. Uh, we don't have to monitor it. It's pretty freaking sweet. We can get rid of this guy now, and we can just sit here and mine cobblestone for days, and it is going to be freaking awesome. We can also go ahead and start to work on some of those obsidian tools next episode and uh, do stuff like that. I might also go ahead and try and increase the mining levels of picks. And what I'll probably also do between this episode and next is figure out how to smell up the iron. I have a feeling it's going to be something to do with flax beard stuff or we might have to... Actually, I think we could probably do it with a smeltery in all honesty. We could probably do that. But uh, anyway, with that, guys, I have been recording for far too long now to get this episode done. But I think we have finally made it back to at least where we were before. Maybe even ahead of where we were before because we finally have a cobblestone generator a crucible powered by lava and a flipping bed which is nice so yeah thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video be sure to like and i will see you guys next time for some more blast off